Hypokeratosis and parakeratosis are an abnormal keratinization process. Normally, the squamous epithelium cervix is non-keratinizing. Keratinization can occur as a result of chronic irritation, as a protective mechanism, and it's also associated with HPV infections. Keratinization process occur at stratum granulosomes. This will lead to hypermaturations of the squamous epithelium. What is hyperkeratosis? Hyperkeratosis is defined as an increased production of keratin layer on the surface of the stratified squamous epithelium. What is parakeratosis? Parakeratosis is defined as incomplete maturations of keratin production resulting in retentions of nuclei in the superficial squamous cells in the forms of pycnotic nuclei. Next, how do we identify hyperkeratosis? Identification done will be on observing cluster of cells of more than 10 enucleated squamous cells. These cells are most likely to be eosinophilic or orangeophilic. It also can mimic the appearance of empty space or ghost nuclei. In histology, it can be identified by observing stack layers of enucleated squamous cells at the top of surface epithelium. Microscopically, hyperkeratosis is identified by appearance of white patches, also known as leukoplakia, in which the white color is due to the hyperkeratosis formation. The possible causes of hyperkeratosis are uterine prolapse, leukoplakia, hormonal changes, and genital warts. Hyperkeratosis can be associated with inflammation. Hyperkeratosis also can be associated with human papilloma virus and low squamous intraepithelial lesion. Hyperkeratosis is enucleated. This is because during maturation, cells remove all their organelles, including the nucleus, allowing them to contain a high proportion of keratin and form a rigid layer that is essential for formation of the epidermal water barrier. Hyperkeratosis is not necessarily indicates presence of malignancy. As we can see, there is no significant difference between these two hyperkeratosis conditions in terms of its shape and color. Study of risk of pap smear with hyperkeratosis may vary in other studies. Structural characteristics of parakeratosis. Parakeratosis is nucleated with pycnotic nuclei, keratinized glassy and bright orange cytoplasm. Parakeratosis can be seen in the form of single cells, sheets, and pearls. There are two forms of parakeratosis, which is typical parakeratosis and atypical parakeratosis. Next, possible causes of parakeratosis include gentle brushing or trauma of brushing, skin fold and retinoids use, and irritation of mucous membrane. Parakeratosis usually associated with high seal, HPV, and squamous cell carcinoma. Next is lab diagnosis of parakeratosis. Firstly, observe the nucleus characteristic. For typical parakeratosis, it's run to oval and pneumatic, while for atypical parakeratosis, it's hyperchromatic, nucleus enlargement and plomorphism. Then, cytoplasm of cell will be stained as a green orange, yellow, or brown due to has keratins. Pearl arrangement has two conditions, which is benign and malignant. For benign, there is no nuclear atypia, while for malignant, there is nuclear atypia, such as nuclear enlargement and hyperchromatic, due to associated with low seal, high seal, squamous cell carcinoma. Keratin pearl form when there is lack of cohesion among epithelial cells. The cell get arranged in a concentric manner, which look like our fingerprint. Then, as a cell form keratin, this cell lay down in a concentric manner and overlay with each other, then become a compact. After that, pearl is formed, known as a keratin pearl. <laughs>